From the golden age of steam video, the people who brought you... You're only dead once. <laughs> Starring William Franklin and Anna Dawson. Life and Loves of an India Rubber Man with Madeline Smith and Jimmy Mulville. How was it for you? Oh. <laughs> and Tinker, Taylor, Shepherd, Spy with Barry Cryer and Bob Todd. Presents this week's gripping adventure, I Was Hitler's Bookie. <laughs> written by Andrew Marshall and David Renwick. You know what's the next case? Uh, would you proceed with your first witness? There is no first witness in this case, my lad. It starts with the second witness. Call Flight Lieutenant Dead Eyed Dawlish of the RAF. Call Flight Lieutenant Dead Eyed Dawlish. Call Flight Lieutenant Dead Eyed Dawlish. <laughs> Call Flight Lieutenant Dead Eyed you are Flight Lieutenant Dead-Eyed Dawlish, former Dame of the Empire and Puss in Boots at the Hippodrome. Quebec. I gather you've been having some teething troubles with the new bouncing bomb. Uh, no, I was shelling peas in the naffy and forgot to duck. I believe you've recently been fitted with an artificial wife. Yes, my old one divorced me. Because you take so long to unwind at night. <laughs> Mr. Dawlish, I'd like you to cast your mind back to something that happened more than ten years ago. The war in Europe was at an end. Unfortunately, it was the wrong end, as it had only just started. But together with some companions, you came in possession of some startling information. Yes. I remember it as if it was September the 4th, 1939. It was September the 4th, 1939. And I was serving as a high-ranking member of British intelligence. Have you got great expectations? By Dickens. Is there any other way? <laughs> Sorry I'm late, Q. Are you sure you weren't followed? Not as far as I dare. How far was that? About 500 yards. You can't be too careful at the moment. There are enemy... enemy agents everywhere. I think we all know each other. S, and this is D. How do you spell it? I have a silent P. That's a neat trick if you can do it. <laughs> My passport's been doctored because it was giving too much away. I had a cat doctored for the same reason. <laughs> I'm sorry to call you both here at such short notice, S and D. I hope it didn't put you out. Not at all. I was in bed with my wife. Yes, funny chap, I. No taste in women. Quite. <laughs> Something's come up on the Y front. Why is our chap in Berlin, isn't he? Was, I'm afraid. He's dead. Poor devil, how's he taking it? Well, he was found with 348 bullets in his chest. We think he may have been shot. <laughs> Luckily, he managed to send us this micro dot here. Hmm. Invisible to the naked eye, of course. Here's an eye wearing underpants. <laughs> Amazing. It says here somebody's trying to fix the Second World War. Is this true? Yes, other sources confirm it, I'm afraid. The Germans have been bribed to take a dive in the sixth year. 
Who would do such a thing? We believe it's this man, Honest Joe Wibley, bookmaker and freelance body snatcher from Romford. <laughs> Germany, of course, her favourites to win the war. He stands to make a fortune by persuading them to lose. Our job is to stop this transaction taking place. According... According to our sources, Wibley is due to hand over all the vital documents next Thursday evening in the Rudolf Hess Agogo Club Berlin. His contact there will be this man. Herr Heinrich von Scrofula. An enemy agent so repulsive that his odor eaters have gone on hunger strike for better conditions. That's no joke. No, but at least it's one of ours. Yeah. One of us has got to get to Berlin and stop von Scrofula getting those papers. We'll decide in the usual manner. Whoever draws a short straw. Damn, it looks like it's me again. Good luck, good luck, good luck, sir. Oh, oh! And no further questions for this witness, my lad. Yeah. I, now I'd like to call Miss Fifi La Smart. Soho, good time girl and proprietors of the Indian Rubber Massage Parlor, Southall. Yes, yeah, very well, very well. <laughs> Hello, Fifi. Don't be two pumpkins for eight o'clock. I'd now like to question the defendant in the case, Honest Joe Wibley. Call uh, Honest Joe Wibley. Call on Honest Joe Wibley. You are Honest Joe Wibley. Of accountant of the third right, <laughs> mail order mugger, and a former soulmate of the month for the magazine, Cray Brothers Only. <laughs> Cray Brothers Only. Uh, just take a look at the centerfold, my lad. Uh, well, uh, 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 <laughs> Next No, you're holding it upside down. <laughs> oh, uh, is this really you? It's at to come out in the end. Just answer the question. <laughs> and you wouldn't deny that you have a criminal record as long as your arm. What of it? <laughs> Mr. Wibley, the charge before you is one of trying to fix the Second World War. Do you mind telling this court, to me in your own words, what you were doing on September the 10th, 1939? Yeah, I'd, uh, I'd gone along to King's Cross Station to deposit something in the left luggage lockers. Yeah, this is a respectable area. You don't want any of your filth floor in the tone, look you. I'll have this one. You can't have that one, it's engaged. <laughs> oh, God, now the baby's starting. Will you belt up? You wait, Uncle T. What's going on out there? Now see what you've done. Look, you're mad, all of you. You're stuck in there like a load of sardines. Well, you're mad, you you calling a sardine? Is all this relevant, Counsel? I propose to show that it is, my lad. You are Fraulein Helga Maisie Gladback? I am. The owner of the Rudolf Hess Agogo nightclub? I am. And a former quick change artist by profession? Correct. I believe you first met the head of British intelligence in the winter of September 1939. I remember it well. He came to my place in the guise of a harmless nightclub entertainer. Oh, hello, I am in the guise of a harmless nightclub entertainer. Uh, you must be the owner of the club. That is correct. My name is Helga. Can I call you Ronnie Corbett for short? Of course. Do you think you could do the front of my blouse up? Well, I don't see why not. I once did the front of a bungalow up. I used to be the main attraction here, but I don't seem to be able to pack them in like I used to. 
Yes, I know the feeling. <laughs> you are very sweet. Where have you been all my life? We're waiting for a bus to Putney. Oh. Did anyone tell you you had the most beautiful blue eyes? Yes, once, but I managed to shake him off near Earl's Court. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I've come here to do an audition for the cabaret. Oh, well, the stage is right there. Go ahead. Uh, and good thank luck. You. Thank you very much. Good evening. And after my last performance with the Barbershop Quartet, where we performed Harmony Hairsprays, tonight I'd like to start, if I may, by playing Pine Top Smith, Seven Bar Boogie, on my teeth. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, thank you very much. You know, a fitting climax to any act. My, dare I call it, remarkable performance of Stanley Gibbons' stamp catalogue. I'd like to begin with the Australasian subcontinent, the Papua New Guinea Seven Gumbo Red. <laughs> this could have said comedy back ten years. Pretend you haven't seen me. I did once, and it was bliss. <laughs> I'm looking for my contact. Well, you won't find it down there. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the Papua New Guinea six gumbo... Will you stop making that I have dreadful pass... noise? I have some password. What password? She the shaft who sits in the Seychelles selling shoes to shellfish. I have a feeling this gets worse. She sells the shellfish, sets of shoes, so they shop when they sit on the shore. Here it comes. Some shellfish are shot sitting in the shop, and some shellfish are shot sitting on the shelf. And no one who sells shoes for shellfish sees a shellfish shot like she I knew a tongue twister once. She taught me everything I know. Aren't you, aren't you the man I'm supposed to be? No, I certainly am not. What are you dressed in this ridiculous manner for? Well, these are my instructions. What instructions? To wear a large carnation and carry a copy of Punch. <laughs> Why aren't you wearing any clothes? I can't think of everything. You're mad. No, that's a bit below the belt. <laughs> Never mind the guided tour. Just get off. Let me finish my audition. The Six Gumbo Red. <laughs> oh, there's two funny articles in here. Tempting, isn't it? But it does give me an idea. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 